Are you really a spy? I'm just Jason Hansen. I'm just an average Joe. Can you tell your wife what you do? I can now because I don't work for the agency anymore. And how many passports do you have? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Today, I'm taking my friend Paul to spy school. There are so many shows out there about sneaking and spying and getting out of all these dangerous situations. I am obsessed with them. I mean, who in this world was not affected by Taken? You know? It's the whole reason I got an Audi. I'm gonna become a survivor and not a victim. Going to spy school. What's up with the costume? You're doing a Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoon here. OK, so I'm not giving you like CIA, like powerful no. vibes. Definitely no powerful CIA vibes. Maybe like crazy lady who wears a fedora vibes, 100%. OK, yeah. so just, just be me. Yeah, just be you. OK. Let's yeah. do this. Let's be it. All right. We got to be quieter with our high fives. Yes. What are you doing? This is. How you doing? Great. Hi. I'm Jason. Hi, Nicole. Nice I'm to meet Paul. you. How you doing? Nice, nice to, meet you. to meet you. Good, Nicole. What are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing my spy outfit. Okay. I'm moving around, but I am in LA, so I right. can't wear pants. <laughs> but you got blue hair. Right, which... but I'm gonna hide that. Okay. When it comes to disguises, you actually want to be boring, which is not this. This is the great Halloween costume. Yeah. Okay. Whereas in every day, the perfect disguises Me. are a construction worker. Look, or yeah, Paul this right is here. Boring he as draws you can zero get. attention. Okay. So construction worker, Paul. Yes. Yep. A valet. What about dentist? No one likes their dentist. So there's no dentist outfit, so to say. Right. All right, let's go do some hands-on training on how to get out of trouble. Shall we sneak away? You know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna teach you is how to escape duct tape. Okay. Ooh. So the trick of being duct tape is you wanna keep your elbows together as close as possible. Okay. They're gonna go right at the wrist. It's very so, taken. So Paul is the motorcycle gang member, and he's now hey kidnapped. Man. We need right. the drugs and money. Get him good. Yeah, yeah. I'm exactly. his friend. So what we're gonna do is keep our hands as high as possible. We're gonna pull down, and as I'm pulling down, I'm gonna slap my hips. So I'm coming up here, and then I just do that. Whoa! Just like that. Now, don't you think Liam Neeson should have taught this to his daughter before they went to Europe? Yeah, if you're going to have a daughter, I then you agree. should teach her. Yeah. I have a two-year-old daughter, and my wife won't let me duct tape her yet. So let me duct tape each of you. All right. There oh you God, go. Oh, God, please, please, please. I'm getting both of you. This is a home invasion oh. now, yeah. So elbows no, together as no, close as no. possible. Don't do it. Oh. Now, remember, it's all about the angle. So I'm in the back of the truck. <laughs> Slap the hips. There you oh go. Wow. Oh, nice. Very that nice. wasn't bad at all. Ah, hurts more. OK, ready? Yes. Pray. You got to pull apart hard as you're coming down. Yeah. Perfect. Very nice. Good job. Right. Yes, Very both good. of you. Excellent. So smooth. That's as easy as it is. I know. Isn't that scary? Now let's discuss how to escape rope. OK. okay. You've got to keep your elbows apart. Okay. So the shimmy method. You I'm great to. at a shimmy. So elbows apart, you want to be oh. like this. Put your hands together. There you go. And then I'm going to do role play. No, no, yeah. no. <laughs> Don't do it. Do not do it. few double knots quick, and there you go. OK. Oh, yeah, look. Right, now you straighten the elbows out, and then you can just shimmy, or you should be able to shimmy right out of there. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. And I'm free. That's right. Good job. Jack Bauer, James Bond. Definitely Bond. What is the most accurate TV show? None of them are very accurate, but Burn Notice has a good consultant, so it's semi-accurate. Homeland? Yeah. Scandal? Not at all, but entertaining. <gasps> Can you tell if I'm lying right now? When someone's lying, they start freezing and not having a lot of movement. OK, so when you're lying, <laughs> like, oh, you're $500. I don't know I where it went. In my okay, room. Yeah. Sorry. Can you kill someone with your bare hands? Yes, you want me to demonstrate now? <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think my husband really is who he says he is? You don't want me to answer that. And are our phones really being tested? <laughs> you really don't want me to answer that one. I break into my husband's phone, but only to see if he's talking about me to my dad. Gotcha. And is he? Yeah. OK. Yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna show you how to escape a knife to your throat. So I'm gonna give you the knife. I don't pass knives to people. It's bad luck, because we'll fight. So you put it on the table. Who and says it's bad luck? It. Oh, it's just like, it's bad energy between us. Okay, all right, I'll put the knife down there. You pick okay. it up. Okay, so you got the knife to my throat. Yep. What I would quickly do is grab your hand, and then I'm spinning into you and jabbing <gasps> the knife in you. Oh. Right in the stomach. But technically, you would have to pass the knife to your... I think whoever I hold a knife to and I are gonna be fighting anyway. Good that's point. That's a good point, yes. Yeah. Well, goodbye, Jason. If that's really your name. Is it wrong that I kind of want someone to duct tape me up just so I can show them my trick? I was gonna ask Joel to do it. I think the issue I'm having is she's gonna think I'm like into bondage and that's gonna be a whole other conversation. But then you just break it out with the move and then she's like, whoa, my husband's a dancer. Who knew? Nobody because he's a spy. Stop this up. Yeah. Take a good smile. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Ah! I feel like outbreak. Oh my God. We're getting mad. Oh my God. We're getting mad. Nicole, everybody.